Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up your textures that you've exported using the Unity Universal Render Pipeline Metallic Standard uh, into Blender. Um, set it up like this so you can actually see all your textures that you've uh, you've done in Substance Painter or wherever you've done it um, and export it in. And in case you've downloaded ones online which have the same format, you'll know how to plug it in then properly in Blender. I'm using the new Blender 4.0, so we're up to date on how everything looks because this principal BSDF looks a lot different than it did in, in version 3. Um, it's not too much different, but it, it's a little bit different. And I'm going to use this pumpkin. I know it's not Halloween anymore, but uh, we're going to use this pumpkin as a reference. It's what we're going to use today um, just to show you how to plug it all in together. Uh, you'll be able to find this... Um, pumpkin and the textures in uh, the link in the description if you want to try and set it up yourself um, and play around with it just try and get used to it but yeah this is the setup we're going to go for so I'll show you how to do that now the first thing we're going to look at is obviously in uh, Substance Painter when we've exported the textures we're going to use this Unity, Unity Universal Render Pipeline um, this includes uh, Albedo Transparency, a sm Metallic Smoothness Map, Normal Map, Mission Map and I've added an AO ambient inclusion map as well um, if you have that great and uh, you'll be able to uh, add it in as well and you'll be able to see now when we go back into Blender so we're going to open up a new file in Blender uh, delete all this rubbish as usual we want to import our FBX uh, file it is zoom in on that obviously it has no textures well it'll probably have something linked to the FBX but we can uh, delete that for now anyway so we'll go over to the shading tab. Pull this up so you can see a bit more. Zoom in on the pumpkin. Right, we'll delete this material and we'll make a new material. We'll call it pumpkin. Uh, so this is what you get off the bat. Principle of the S there. And uh, the new look to it. What you want to do is shift A, add an image texture. You can look for yourself, but I always like when I'm one stuff, I just shift A. Because just search for it. It's easier than going down all these segments. So we want to open up our uh, base color, find it in the download. Um, there it is. So we've got the albedo transparency map. So in the albedo transparency map, you'll have the color will be the base color and the alpha will be the alpha. You link in this, um, for some reason it's gone color space non-color. We want it sRGB. I don't know why that did it, but there we are. Um, yeah, you, this doesn't have any alphas, um, so this will just be blank. But if yours does, you can go into um, the alpha settings on your material and just change the blend mode to like alpha hash, and then you'll be able to see it properly. Um, right, we'll control T on this, so we've got our texture coordinate and map in nodes. Um, if you haven't got, you need to enable a node wrangler in the add-ons to for that to work with control T. We'll duplicate this. And what we're going to do next is add another map. So we're going to add um, the metallic smoothness map. Again, color goes into metallic, and the roughness is under the alpha, so it goes into roughness. However, because it's built for Unity and it's metallic smoothness, smoothness is the opposite to roughness, so we need to invert this node as well. So invert color. We can just stick that there and it'll invert. So the roughness will be the right how we textured it in Substance Painter. And we can link that one up as well. I'll duplicate this again. We'll add the next one, which will be the emission. I'll set this to non-color. Emission simply goes into. Well, we need to drag now with uh, Blender four point zero. We need to open it up. We can stick that into. Move that out slightly. Into the emission um, section. Section. And test it out with one so you can see that it's working. Uh, if you'd like to add a color to this, we can just um, do a mixed color node, add that in, and <coughs> sorry, <laughs> add a mixed color node in, multiply it, um, change the factor to one, and then you can just pick any color here and just play around with it and get something you like. Change that back to zero for now. And again, link up the vector to the vector. And we also need a normal map. 
So if we search for normal map node, here we go. We'll open up our normal map texture. Again, this is non non color as well. Stick that in there, and let me move this over a bit. So you can see, and we'll stick the normal map in there, and then you'll get all that detail from the normal map model. Um, that's the basic setup for um, the Unity render pipeline. I I like to add the ambulant occlusion map as well. So we'll duplicate this, link it up the here. We got our AO. That is a non-color. So the only one that is color is is our albedo transparency map. We will um, do another mix color between the AO and the um, the base color. So the base color goes in the top segment and the AO goes in the bottom segment and we set this to multiply. Where are you multiply? There it is. And that's it basically. That's that's how you set it up in uh, in Blender 4.0. So you can play around with the settings of the emission node. You might not even have an emission, you might just have these other ones, but yeah. As I said guys, um just a quick tutorial to show you how to use, do it in Blender 4.0 and uh, set it up for yourselves. You can find these files in uh, the link in the description. It'll be on my Patreon for free. And you can find set it up yourself. And uh, it's worth practicing these. Oh, see, look, I didn't link up the vector on the vector on this. It's worth practicing this setup just to get it in your brain without having to look at it all the time. But uh, especially when you come to downloading different files online and you want uh, you want to set them up in your blender scene yeah guys hope that was helpful um if you liked the video please subscribe to the channel and uh i'll keep making more videos i've got a bigger one coming up um making a game red ready tire object that's going to be in a four part long episode um that'll be coming up soon so keep an eye out for that but yeah thanks so much guys and i'll catch you in the next video